everyone, go back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the NARS Power Matte Lipsticks. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Each lipstick retails for $34 at Sephora and NARS online and it comes in 15 different shades. I do want to read a little bit about these lipsticks on Sephora's website. A transfer resistant matte lipstick that glides on delivering bold color with all day comfort for up to 10 hours. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says NARS on it. Across that it says Power Matte Lipstick. You get 0.05 ounces or 1.5 grams of product. On this side of the packaging, there's the barcode. On the other side, you have the list of ingredients. On the back, it states that these lipsticks were made in Italy and it has a six month shelf life. Up at the top, you have the shade name. This shade is Sweet Deposition. This is shade number 100. Here's what the lipstick looks like. It is a slim tube. On the bottom, it says NARS all around it. This is a rubberized packaging. Down at the bottom, you have the shade name printed. Let's see what this shade looks like. This is really beautiful. Let's see how much product we get. Here's how much product comes in the tube. Not a lot of product for $34 in my opinion. Sweet Deposition is described as a pink beige. Wow, that is super pigmented with one swipe. Here's what one layer looks like. The formula isn't super pigmented as I was expecting it to be. You can still see my natural lip peeking through. Let's see if this formula is buildable. Here's what two coats looks like. Again, this shade is not as pigmented. You can still see my natural lip. You can see all the fine lines on my lips as well. I don't like that. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The next shade is called Tease Me. This is shade number 111. Tease Me is described as a rose pink. That shade is gorgeous. Here's what one layer looks like. Again, you can still see my natural lip peeking through. I expected these shades to be a little bit more pigmented. Let's apply a second coat. Here we have two layers. This shade is gorgeous. The next shade is 112 American Woman. American Woman is described as a dusty rose. Here's what one layer looks like. Let's see what a second layer looks like. Here we have two coats. This shade is super pretty. The next shade is called Thunder Kiss. This is shade number 115. Thunder Kiss is described as a soft mauve. Ooh, that is so pretty. Here's what one layer looks like. Let's build it up. Here we have two layers. This shade is beautiful. The next shade is 121 Freebird. Freebird is described as a peachy coral. That's very pretty. Here we have one layer of the shade in Freebird. I'm gonna apply a second layer. Here's what two layers looks like. I wish this shade was a bit more pigmented. Next up, we have 131 Notorious. Notorious is described as a red orange. Wow, that shade is vibrant. Here's what one layer looks like. 
The shade is pretty. Let's build it up. Here's what two layers looks like. This shade in Notorious is the most pigmented out of all of the swatches so far. With one layer, it's not as pigmented. I really do like this shade. The second to last shade is called Dragon Girl. This is shade number 132. Dragon Girl is described as a vivid siren red. Again, super pigmented. Here's what one layer looks like. I really wish this formula was pigmented. Let's see what two layers looks like. Here we have two coats. Another beautiful shade. The last shade is 150 Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell is described as a rich berry. Another beautiful shade. Here's what one layer looks like. I really do like this berry shade. Let's apply a second layer. Here's what two layers looks like. This shade is gorgeous. I like two shades out of the eight shades I purchased in this collection. These two shades are Notorious and Highway to Hell. Both of these shades were pigmented with two layers. The other shades in this collection weren't as pigmented. If you don't have pigmented lips, I think you'll be fine with one coat. I will be wearing this shade throughout my entire day and I will leave below in the description box how it does wear. I do wanna do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to see how much product does come off. Oh wow, hardly any product came off on the back of my hand. Here's what my lips look like. Amazing. Here's what all eight shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. Let's see if there's any transfer. Okay, we're getting a little bit of transfer. Here's how much product came off. For $34, I don't think these six shades are worth it in my opinion. I really did enjoy these two shades. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite and if you have tried these lipsticks from NARS. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.